says, have I got news for you. I have a mother sponsor, Billy B Photography. He does phenomenal headshots and a special deal that you get a free retouched image, which is worth $20. So I'm sorry it's been so long, but we have a good one this week. Our guest is Steven Aremus, big music supervisor, Wicked, Avenue Q, Book of Mormon, Kinky Boots. He's unstoppable. He's like a steam train of music notes. He's the music man. He is the music man, but not like one who's gonna shyst you and try and like sell you shit that you don't need. And he can give you a job someday. So you better pay attention and take some <laughs> notes. Guys, you should see his apartment that we're in right now. What do you call it? Is it a penthouse or no, a mansion? It's not. It's neither of those things. What do you call it? It's an apartment. I call it a palace. What, what is this? What are we drinking? Woodford Reserve. It's a good year. Yeah. Cheers to how dare you try and drink without Go cheering ahead, me. Hey, well, I love, if uh, yes, I love my husband. That's right, the husband. The Justin Bohan. Bohan. I made the end silent. <laughs> it's not that French. He is French though. Well, it's a French, yeah. Does he make you crepes? No, he doesn't make me crave. Does he snails? No snails. What's the point of having a French man? And if you want to give him like a romantic night, what are you gonna do to like get him in the mood? Not sexually, I wanna pry there unless you wanna share. <laughs> no, I'm not sharing that. What turns you on? You like the neck? The neck? <laughs> I like the ears. You like the ears? You not as much? Interesting. No, not particularly. Is it because you're ears. afraid that, God forbid, you lose your like, hearing, that you lose your, all your jobs? Goes, and it like makes my ear ring. Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> if you couldn't hear, you wouldn't be able to do your job if you were deaf. Yeah, it wouldn't go well. What if tonight you go deaf? Say your ear fell off, like you Van Goghed it and you cut it off. Was Van that Van Gogh or was that Da Vinci? No, Van Gogh. Van Gogh, I was right, guys. Correct art reference. I think I would do something completely opposite, but not in the arts at all. And, you know, or like philosophy or psychology. Or... Well, let's focus on the psychology. I'm happy to give you an opportunity now if you want to try and help me, help me no, out with some stuff. I can't. Here's what I'm having problems That's with right fine. now. I feel like everything is finally starting to like really come together. Mm -hmm. But what if I'm peeking? Nothing you can do about it, dude. That's it? That's all you got? I didn't say I was a psychologist. There's nothing you can do. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Good luck. Cheers to peaking young and dying early. No. You have work. You've got your girlfriend cooking Not for like you. This. She made Amazing. us tacos. That's incredible. How sweet is that? Amazingly sweet. What the f*** are you cooking for him? He cooked for me last night, actually. What'd he make? A pork loin. Oh, well done, Boha. Yes. You're something, I feel like, what are you, Persian? You seem something different. Yeah. Like Arabian? You know something where they hide the mouth? I'm three quarters Italian and one quarter Hungarian. But now I got someone, guys, from the other side of the table. Other side of the table. God help us all. How us actors feel about you people on the other side of the table sometimes, Stephen? Very nice. Are you? How's your etiquette during auditions? Are you a texter? Are you, no. looking, are you looking at your Pinterest board? Absolutely not. No whispering? Well, sometimes I'll be like, is that saying, oh, look at this, how great? Or is that, oh, look at that, what a stinker? No, it'll be like, they actually have that special skill. It says here you can stand on your head while talking like Cartman. And eating apple pie. Eating apple pie. It's like, uh, I, it, sometimes I just enjoy the dream of what that would be. That is more fun than actually seeing someone do it. That's right. So you began as an MD? Yeah, I mean, then I just started doing arrangements at Orchestrator and her vocal arranger. The music supervising, what does that mean? Just like, you have everyone's balls? It's like, yeah, it's like the super and music. Your grip. It's like the super music director. The person that's in charge of the overall sound of the entire show. No, no, no. You know what my book is gonna be called? What? Musical Theater Emergency. Like everything is an emergency. We have to do this. You have to take care of this. Everything's happening. You're right. It is always it's, kind of a high stakes thing. It's high stakes. Even if it's like we lost the toothpick yeah. in this scene. They're flipping out about the toothpick. Yes. They're calling you for the toothpick. Yeah. Someone. That's actually not a bad title. How about Stephen Aramis? Dot dot. Holding the world in musical theater by the balls. <laughs> no, that's not. Because you truly do. You're like a spider. Which one of your shows was a stinker? No, that's just horrible. <laughs> fing, that's fing mean. I'll tell you which ones of mine were. Where do I start? Except for Wicked. Yeah, we did work on Wicked together. We did. Do you remember the time we spent together? Here's a test, guys. Let's see if he remembers oh, little Jared Zerilli. Yes, of course I remember you as you slid. <laughs> what Ooh. city were we in and what month? <laughs> We were in Providence. Yes, I do remember that. Twas winter. Twas. I happened to be going off for fear that day, and he shaped me. Just he, molded. And he, yeah, like I was, I was his clay. Molding his very defined chest. Go on. <laughs> There's a critique I'd like to give you. He allowed me to use the guest bathroom, and I peed, hit the seat, and I'm like, oh god, I just peed on Steve Remus's guest bathroom seat. And it took me about 30 seconds to find the toilet paper, right, because right. he keeps it in like a basket that also has magazines in it next to the toilet. How come there's not like a freestanding toilet bowl? You're gonna have to talk to my husband about that. We haven't, we just haven't decided what, I told you we just redid the place. We haven't quite finished all the little fine details. I think toilet paper isn't too fine a detail. It's there. It's a beautiful bathroom. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that, you know, I reach for the toilet paper and I might get People Magazine and wipe 
my butt with it instead. I'm not gonna argue with you about this. You're a two-time Tony winner. I am. Can we get them? Yeah, I mean, I'll get them. There's something about holding them. There's some real weight to it, guys. A lot of you, you'll never get to hold one. I'm not trying to be this is mean. No, we'll all hold one one day. That's too nice. That's, <laughs> that's just a lie. <laughs> what did you feel when you held it for the first time? And we, and I was thanking my family up in the balcony. Bring it a little closer. Look how happy to have that award. The most amazing thing about it is just to be recognized by the community for the work that I've it's done is, a, is an amazing, amazing thing. I'm good with thinking of nicknames. No, no, no. Why not? I, I mean, I have a couple of nicknames. Well, what are they? It's more the British nickname for Steven, like Stee, S-T-E. Otherwise, it's just Steven. What about like Steamboat? What about Ice-T? <laughs> Ice-T. You see? The same, it's the same. I get Teeth, it, I lips, get it, not a fan. No. Or like, Ream job. Oh, no, no, no. Who's your best friend right now? Who's your best? In the whole world? Yeah. Vincent. Yeah, we did a show together at a dinner theater. What show? Oh, I did several shows there. The Music Man, Meet Me in St. Louis, The Goodbye Girl. I don't know that one very well. Oh, my God. Bernadette Peters and Martin Short. Treasures you were, you were but a child. You're very young. You know all that? No. 27. Shit. You're about to enter your Saturn returns. What's that? It's like the period from like 28 to 31. Why do they call it that? It's a huge upheaval. It's where everything just crashes and burns. <laughs> you start fresh. How? I don't does, like that. Does, does you have that? Yeah. What happened during that time? I broke up with my boyfriend. I lost my apartment. No, Whitney, we're gonna be fine. <laughs> How dare you? I'm just saying. Couldn't get a job. But I have a job. Change. I know you do right now, but... I'm not gonna have a job! No, when you're 28, it's all over. I'm just saying that, that lots of things happened during that time. I didn't know about this, and now I'm upset! Now, Don't look at the questions! Let me find the meanest what, question what, I have! What, what do you look for in a leading man? Take notes, guys, I am. <laughs> look for in a leading man? It's, it's different for every show. <laughs> calm down, just calm down, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> Even My pulse is up, Steven! I know. Well, that's just because you're sitting next to me. Why you get me all Twitter-pated? I know. You gotta relax. Are you on Twitter? Yeah. You better post this. <laughs> what makes a good audition for you? It really is usually just how much someone can get their true personality across. Amen. Uh, how relaxed someone can, can be. But people that are prepared. I mean, and some people you just don't want them to show their full personality, like you. Like, you don't, like that would be too much. Time out. <laughs> it would just be too much. You, do you think my personality would overwhelm a creative team? And Queen, appreciate it too. I dropped to one knee when I met Queen, and I said, big fan. I was just giving you shit, and you just took it a little too personally. I'm very, very <laughs> glad to be here. Yes! We had a good time, right? I had a blast. You're not a prisoner. No. <laughs> Say goodbye to your fans! Bye!